Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another VGC battle. Today we are actually on Wi-Fi. For this week, we're not going to have three battles on Wi-Fi. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this episode on Wi-Fi. And then the next two episodes are going to be PDF battles um, where I commentate over other people's battles. I was hoping to get um, my own battles done this week, but I ran into some issue. I, apparently, when I made the Pokemon, I made them with Dream Balls for some unforsaken reason. I think it might have been just the file that I grabbed. Um, so, I think that was the problem with it. They're working now, so I'm not entirely sure, but I wasn't able to get my battles done. Um, which is no big deal, you know, um, no big deal on that one. But, long story short, this week will be one personal battle and two other people's battles. And then next week what we'll do is we'll do my battles as well. Um, so this is the same team we've been using in on the showdown. On the showdown. Um, so I like it. I think it's pretty good. We'll see how it goes on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi I think is a little bit more competitive than showdown. Um, so I don't expect to do nearly as well as we were doing, but I expect to do somewhat well. So, let's look. Uh, they've got Eveltal, Sableye, Rotom Wash, Kangaskhan, uh, Ho-Oh, and Meowstic. I think the tried and proven combination of Crobat and Rayquaza is very good here, because he's got two Prankster users in Sableye and Meowstic, so the Quick Guard will be great. Fake Out users in the, that entire row is Fake Out. Um, so I think this will work pretty well for us, and then obviously Rayquaza is very strong. Now I'm going to bring Landorus because he does have the Ho-Oh, I think that's going to be very powerful for us. And then I think in general just Ferrothorn will work really well here too. No no Xerneas, which I honestly abhor playing. I hate Xerneas, um, mainly because I, I'm pretty much forced to bring Ferrothorn every time we fight, fight, fight a, a Xerneas because, again, it's just so strong. Um, I, can't, I can't bring Kyogre in hopes to beating Xerneas because if it gets that, um, that uh, uh, what is that move called? I don't even remember. Geomancy. If you get the Geomancy off, Kyogre's kind of just useless. I don't think it can two-hit KO it. Um, then it's definitely outsped, so since this is a Trick Room team, it's going to be a little hard. Um, so Ferrothorn is really the best option. I Honestly, like when I think about it, I think Ferrothorn really is the only option. Because um, something like Scizor is very useless in this meta. It's only good at beating Xerneas, so th there's putting on your team is kind of stupid. Because, uh, I mean, the Scissor really can't do very much. It's good for uh, Xerneas and it's good for Cresselia, but that, that's really about it. Cresselia has enough checks and counters, so it's not that big of a deal, you know? Um, Alright! So we've got Eveltal. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Evel. Oh, he disconnected. Okay. I guess he didn't like my lead. My lead. <laughs> um, Alright. Or maybe I disconnected. I disconnected! Okay, we're going to try that again. Um, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what Eveltal does. I know he can be... um sort of mixed. I know he can go uh, physical or special. I know Oblivion Wing is special. So I think they usually are special, but you know, you get Sucker Punch. Yeah, I don't really know. I think they're usually special because you can't use your flying type uh, physical. There's a history of not being able to use your flying type physically. Um, not very well balanced for flying types in general. Fly is really the only only one. I mean, there's there's what like Peck. Woo. Um, I mean, there's there's Drill Peck. Um, that's a pretty solid move, but not very many things. Wait, what did I click? I clicked double, didn't I? Yeah. Um, not many things get Drill Peck, so you can't really use that. Um, there's. I can't think of any other flying type moves. I mean, there's like the Lugia one with Aeroblast. Meh. Um, there's Sky Attack. Again, meh. Sky Attack's basically a stronger fly. It's really not that great. Um, I really don't think there's any other physical fly. Oh, uh, there's Dragon Ascent. There's Dragon Ascent, but only one Pokemon. Total well, two, I guess, if you count Smeargle. Um, Dragon Ascent's really good. I like Dragon Ascent, but meh. Otherwise, it's kind of meh. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go Crobat, Rayquaza, I'm gonna bring, um, I'm gonna bring Kyogre for sure, and, um, Ferrothorn. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not really, like, super crazy, it's, like, kinda crazy, you know, I, I don't know, the flying type is kind of, kind of bad in this game. Um, they definitely need some more, they need, like, 
a base 80 well distributed flying type move i think i feel like every type should have something worthwhile you know ground has awful choices too especially in vgc earthquakes pfft, i mean it's good but it's not great um you get drill run drill runs really good i like drill run a lot but that's it that's really it lands wrath eh, whatever only not lands wrath um desolate no wait precipice blades but only Groudon gets that you know it's just not worth it all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go for the quick guard here because duh I'm going to uh, Mega Evolve, and we are going to Draco Meteor, the Kangaskhan. Now, the reason why I don't like to start off with Dragon Ascent is because it, it drops your defenses. And the problem with dropping defenses is that I can't stay in longer. Now, if I draw my special attack, even though my Rayquaza specifically is a... Oh, I, I never saw the text come up. I was like, what the hell's Fervent Wish? <laughs> I was like, I didn't click that. That's cool. Um... I draw my special attack, but I still have Dragon Ascent, so I can stay in for a while, you know? Um, so he's gonna Mega Evolve. Now, what I'm expecting is either a double Fake Out, or a Fake Out Taunt, or a Fake Out um, Thunder Wave, something like that, but a lot of priority, so that's why I'm going for that Quick Guard, because that's gonna let me basically block everything they're gonna about, they're about to do. Safeguard! Okay, so I didn't expect Safeguard, but that's not a big deal, I don't really have any status on my team. Um, he's not gonna go for Fake Out. Kind of kind of surprised but i couldn't really risk that this should take it out anyway oh my god really wow wow i did not expect that to survive he's gonna go down anyway and i think i should survive this no wow okay a lot stronger than i thought it would be um all right well that's uh he should still go down so it's not like the biggest of deals <laughs> Um, yeah, so we traded Megas. Now, obviously, his Mega is way less valuable than mine. I'm going to bring in Ferrothorn because I'm going to... I think... Did I say he had a Groudon? I think he had a Groudon. Um, so I think this obviously makes the most sense to bring out my uh, Ferrothorn. Yeah, he does have the Groudon. Now, what I can do here is I can obviously switch into Kyogre. But I think a better... Well thing is if I go into Kyogre and he predicts and he goes for um, Precipice Blade. Well, I can always go for Tailwind. I can go for Tailwind, so I'm going to go for Tailwind, actually. We're going to go for that Tailwind. We're going to switch into the Kyogre. Um, we should get rid of the Sun if he wants to go for the Fire-type move. That's why I went for Ferrothorn, because I figured he'd bring in his Groudon. I mean, why wouldn't he? Uh, so this way we can kind of get rid of his, his uh, Sun. I forgot if he had to begin with so I'm kind of glad that that worked out the way I predicted it to go let's hope he doesn't go for the 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 ground move I really hope he doesn't he probably will but even if he did that really wouldn't do very much it's not in his favor to do that um, now it's in his favor to do that I didn't even think about gravity well I go for talent anyway so regardless this is a good place for me to be in um, yeah, so he's gonna actually kill my Crobat. Wow, I didn't even think about gravity. I mean, no one uses it, so why would I think about that? That really <laughs> almost killed me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, but that's okay. Uh, what we do is we bring in Ferrothorn. If I remember correctly, he had... Kiram in the back. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna double into that slot. Really? What would he have done if I killed the, the Meow Stick? What's he going to do? Trick Room. Ew. What is this? Oh, man. I didn't even think he did. He did. Oh, man. Man, he played me. Um, so I lose, pretty much. Um, I'm going to just drop a Leech Seed. I'm going to protect. <laughs> He's definitely slower than me, so even if I run out of my... Oh, so... oh. Oh, damn it. Safeguard. I forgot about the safeguard. I was like, he's just going to hit himself in confusion. That's not worth it. Um, okay, fair enough. Yeah, that, that's definitely worth it. Wow, okay, that's a good combo. I really, like... In my mind, he's like, he's going to switch out. Because... 
I mean, first of all, he, he automatically wins if he switches out, you know? Let's be real here. Um, but I, I could have just killed the Meow Stick. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That what that didn't, like, cross my mind. Ah, man. I just got played. I should have thought of that. I should have been like, we, why would he stay in with the Groudon? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. He stays in with the Groudon, he loses the game. I don't care if he has Kiram in the back. Kiram's not going to save him. Oh, why do I think of these posts? Oh, man, that made too much sense. Oh, God. Well, long story short, we lost that one. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. At least now, from now on, I can... Like, it just, it made no sense. Why would he stay in? That's why I doubled into him. In my mind, I'm thinking he's going to switch out to Kiram to, to eat up that Hydro Pump. So I knock him down with a Hydro Pump. It's not going to kill him. Then I hit him right in the face with a Gyro Ball. Oh, the logic was there, but it was on the wrong Pokemon. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.